Hey everybody, Dave Salmon here with Team Doberman and Apex Muscle Journal. And today I want to go over a few definitions. Um, I think people hear these words and, 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 and just, they don't really know what they mean sometimes. <laughs> Um, also, I want to go over our review of Barbell Brew Coffee. It's a local small batch coffee company in Ohio. Great coffee. I've tried three different of their blends, and all of them are really good, very different each one, and just really good coffees. You can check them out at barbellbrew.com. Okay, now <clears throat> the definitions I wanted to go over volume, training volume. I don't think people really understand what that means sometimes. It's very simple. It's the amount of weight you've done times the amount of reps you've done times the amount of sets you've done. So if you've done one set of 100 pounds for one rep, that would be 100 pounds of training volume. Very simple. Um, and increasing that training volume should be one of your goals to increase hypertrophy. So that could mean increasing weight, reps, or sets. Intensity. Um, the problem with the definition for intensity is that it actually has two meanings. Uh, the first meaning is that it's a percentage of your one repetition maximum. That's often used for strength training, powerlifting, but with bodybuilding, we tend to refer to intensity as the second definition, which is how hard you're working. And when we talk about high intensity training, we are using techniques like training to failure, uh, training past failure using rest pause and similar techniques. So those are the two definitions for intensity. Uh, density, training density. Um, this is something that uh, people kind of neglect uh, with their programs. They don't think about increasing training density. Um, there was a interesting program called Escalating Density Training by Charles Staley, and uh, it was a decent program. And it focused on the main goal was to increase training density and volume. Um, so with increasing training density, you basically want to do more work in either the same amount of time or the same amount of work or more in less time. That's how you increase training density. So say you do a thousand pounds of volume in an hour. The next week you do a thousand pounds of volume in 50 minutes. You've increased your training density. Uh, ways to do that, decrease rest time or use techniques like supersets. Um, you also can increase the reps. That would also increase the training density as long as you're still doing it within the same amount of time. So these are three definitions that I think everybody should keep in mind with their programs. Uh, it helps uh, and these are all things that you need to manipulate throughout your periodization to improve your results. Keep that in mind. Thank you. If you have any questions, put them before, below or email us at info at DobermanFitnessConcepts.com. Thank you.